Hello, it's Laura Gathers with Love Heart of Marriage Coaching, bringing you wisdom for wives in five. This is where we take five minutes or less and dig into the Word of God, searching for nuggets that we can apply to our lives as wives. Today, ladies, I have something that's funny but serious to discuss with you. I have interviewed a couple of husbands and I've asked them, what is it that we do to make you feel disrespected? The first one, is nagging like hands down that was on the top of the list nagging nagging makes them feel as though we don't believe that they're going to do what they say they're going to do like there's no trust when we continuously nag them about something so some of you may be thinking what exactly is nagging i'm going to give you an example to make sure that we're all on the same page nagging can be something as simple as honey can you take out the trash honey the trash is overflowing and then five seconds later honey I smell the trash. Have you not taken it out yet? Honey, will you please take out the trash? That's nagging. Within one minute, you've asked your husband to take out the trash four different ways. Either you think he's hard of hearing or you just want to get on his nerves. He heard you the first time. They heard us the first time. And I know we're not trying to nag them. All we're trying to do is make sure that they don't forget. So, we're going to have to figure out another way to make sure they don't forget. Maybe we can put post-its all around the house to remind them to take out the trash. No, seriously. Let's just tell them once and wait for them to do it. And if it bothers you that much, put a blindfold on and walk around the house so you won't see the trash. <laughs> next, The next thing that was high on the list was the way we talk to and about them when we are around friends or family. Yeah, husbands feel really disrespected when you belittle them or your tone of voice is inappropriate when you're talking to them around friends or family or, or in general conversation with them, period. Our tone of voice should be one that's loving. Um, we need to be very mindful of that. But especially when we're around friends and family, we want to make sure that we're not barking commands at them. We want to make sure that we're not belittling them with our tones of voices. We want to make sure that we're using words that will build them up and edify them or not say anything at all. We have to make sure that we are protecting our husbands. And one way that we can do that is by making sure that we use words that will shine a good light on them or don't say anything at all. Okay, now let's talk about this last one. And that's treating them like children. Husbands feel very disrespected when we treat them like children. Or we tell people, yeah, I have three children when we only have two. They feel really disrespected because they're not our child. And if we begin to see them as our children, we will talk to them like children and we will treat them like children. And they're not. That's very disrespectful to them. They are our husbands. And there is an honor that we should have for them as our husbands. So if we are treating them like children and telling people that we have three children when we only have two, it's disrespectful. So ladies, let's make sure that we don't do those things. Oh, I do have one more. It's hanging up on them when we're having a heated discussion. You know, I'm going to hang up on you so I don't cuss you out type of thing. I'm going to hang up on you so I don't say words that will hurt your feeling type of thing. Those were the examples that I got. Some husbands said, <laughs> their wife told them, I hung up on you because I didn't want to cuss you out. And that could be how you feel. But it's still disrespectful if you hang up on them. And some wife said, I hung up on you because I didn't want to say something that I would regret. But it's still disrespectful if we hang up on them. So ladies... Those were the examples that your husbands gave to me. Now, this doesn't apply to all wives. And as I always say, get to know your husband so that you know what is respectful and disrespectful to them because it will vary based off husbands. So these were just some general things that I was able to pull out of some husbands that I trust and that I have a good relationship with. I hope that this has blessed you and that it will help you be mindful of the things that you can do to show your husband respect. Be blessed.